Who is the current King of Kong? Who is the kingest of Kongs, you might say? Unfortunately, that's no easy question to answer, but we can try to figure it out, and uh, hopefully by the end of the story, have kind of an answer. Go ahead and get a drink, grab a snack, sit down, like the video, and listen to the different stories of all the world champions that have taken the Donkey Kong high score. Let's start with Billy. Good old Billy. Okay, first off, Billy, please don't sue me. You might watch this. I don't know. You watch a lot of stuff on the internet. Let me just say, hey, I respect your original scores. I respect that you clearly are a good gamer, better than I am, and you're way better Donkey Kong than I will ever be. And, you know, I've, I've accepted that. But Billy, you know, you're an interesting uh, character in that you have sued a lot of people for these things. And therefore, I'm going to have to use the word alleged a lot here, because if I don't, I might get a lawsuit. So, here we go. Let's tell the story of Billy. So, in 1982, Billy was one of the first major champions of the Donkey Kong world. Okay, he arose in 1982 to score 874,300, which, you know, back then, now we're talking about scores of million, like a million something these days. Uh, that doesn't seem like quite as much, but it was a really, really impressive score back then. In fact, you know, it was miles ahead of the previous score, uh, and it's a score that stood for a long time, years. It stood for years. Um, the only person who could beat Billy was Billy himself, and he naturally gained a bit of a reputation. He was kind of like the rock star of gaming. You know, Donkey Kong was an original hit, and here he was, you know, the best at the game. And undeniably so. Nobody denies at the time he was the best at the game, okay? Allegedly at the time. You know, I'm not disparaging you at all, Billy. Please don't, you know, cast your lawyers at me. Uh, now, Billy held the title for a while, but then comes his next challenger, Steve Weeby. Steve Weeby. Now, Steve's a cool dude in my opinion. I don't know him personally, but from what I've seen, you know, he seems like he's legitimately just interested in being the best at the game, or was interested at in being the best in the game, and he succeeded. He was great. In fact, uh, when he arrived on the scene, he got a high score, and eventually, even on his own arcade cabinet, scored over a million, the first person to ever do so. Uh, except it wasn't recognized by the recognizing board that recognized Billy Mitchell originally and is seen as like the governing board for high scores for Donkey Kong, uh, at least uh, along with DKF, which is Donkey Kong Forum. Uh, but back then, Twin Galaxies was, you know, the score to shoot for, and it was not recognized because apparently Steve had used a slightly modified board in his arcade cabinet. Now, I don't have the technical expertise to say anything about it, but uh, it was made by somebody who, uh, well, is not really friends with Billy. Uh, someone with the last name Shield. Uh, they're also another high score holder, uh, but they have a lot of beef with Billy. And, you know, I'm not going to say anything one way or the other. I don't think Steve, in my opinion, ever tried to cheat. You can see a lot of this in the King of Kong documentary from 2007. But the point is, uh, Steve was disqualified for this. And they told him he had to come in person uh, to kind of get a verified score on an arcade cabinet in a place where everyone else could kind of watch it and, you know, see on a neutral ground sort of atmosphere. Now, unfortunately, uh, the suggested location, Fun Spot, which is where a lot of people go to kind of like test their Donkey Kong skills officially, you know, and set, set, set some high scores. Uh, that's a quite a trip from Steve, and the King of Kong kind of shows him going out there, and while he's out there trying to set his score, Billy sends in a videotape of him scoring over a million. Now, uh, some of you may notice the irony here. Pretty interesting that uh, Billy and some of the people at Twin Galaxies would think that Steve couldn't do it, uh, would have to come in person, uh, but Billy was perfectly okay sending in this video, and they accepted it as the high score. So while Steve is sitting there in the arcade trying to get to a million for the second time, uh, Billy is recognized as the first person officially over one million, and, you know, kind of sours the mood. Uh, Steve tries a few more times, you know, uh, comes to a few more competitions, and at home eventually scores over a million, which is documented at the end of King of Kong. And that score in 2006 was 1,049,100, and that score uh, was the world record for several years. Uh, Steve finally got his time in the light and was recognized, you know, as the world record holder after a little bit of scandal came up uh, between Billy Mitchell and Twin Galaxies. Uh, some people 
had seen the King of Kong, um, and some people had already been interested in the sphere of Donkey Kong high scores, looked back at some of Billy Mitchell's old gameplay, and they found that, uh, in their opinion, that Billy had cheated. Uh, I'm Again, allegedly, uh, this is what they said. I'm not saying it. Billy, please don't stick your lawyers on me. Uh, I'm just saying they, they said that uh, Billy was cheating, and a lot of the community agreed, including Twin Galaxies, who removed Billy's score. And that left Steve as pretty much the reigning champion for a couple years, and uh, I believe that's the reason in 2000 the score uh, is recorded as being... Tim Serby, Sherby, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, at 879,200. Uh, so that's probably, you know, why that happened after Billy was removed. But Steve kept it for about, mm, you know, three and a half years or so, give or take. And then comes on the new contender, Hank Chin. Hank Chin. Now, Hank Chin's pretty cool. Okay, I don't know too much about him. Uh, I think he has an internet presence. Uh, if it's really big and I've been living under a rock, I apologize. I just haven't seen much. But Hank Chin uh, and Steve Weeby go at it for a little bit and trade the score a few times before Hank finally locks down and gets it like five times in a row. And at the end, uh, in 2012, Hank has set a score of 1,138,600, cementing his place as the champion. Okay? And he holds this for a couple of years. And that's Hank's uh, period right there. Uh, Hank just sort of has a big chunk of the Donkey Kong scores, constantly proving his own score, which is very impressive. And to this day, he still plays a mean game of Donkey Kong, as I understand. Uh, he's won Kong Offs, you know, which are the tournaments people go to to actually play Donkey Kong in person. A lot of these names show up there, uh, or at least they used to. I don't know uh, how that works anymore. But, um, yeah, you know, it was a big deal. And Hank Chen is, you know, one of the legends. Robbie Lakeman. Now, Robbie's got a bit of a reputation in the Donkey Kong community for being very outspoken, uh, with some very, very heavy opinions. Now, I'm not going to weigh in one way or the other. I don't really think uh, Robbie's opinions are any of my business, uh, and frankly, I haven't seen them. Uh, I'm sure they're like on Twitter, or, um, you know, it's something that maybe just passed around the community, but I don't really know. The point is, a lot of stuff has been said back and forth, and I'm not really interested in that. What I'm interested in is... Who's got the best score in Donkey Kong? I think we've kind of forgotten all while we're here because uh, apparently, you know, like, uh, there's been a lot of argument about whether Robbie Lakeman is the current world champion, and we'll get to that. But Robbie Lakeman started in 2014, about 10 years ago, uh, and he scored 1,141,800, taking it from Hank and becoming the new Donkey Kong world champion, uh, the kingest of Kongs, as you might say. And... He improved his score a few times, and then comes Wes Copeland. Wes Copeland will, um, you know, inevitably trade the score with Robbie Lakeman over the next few years, a few times back and forth, each improving their own scores and then taking it, you know, back from the other, until in 2017, Robbie finally takes it with a 1,230,100, and that's it. Uh, Wes seems to be um, out of the high score game at that point. Um, you know, he's probably still playing. I don't know. I don't follow Wes Copeland at all. Sorry. Um, but... Yeah, so Robbie holds it and improves it in 2018 and then holds it for another year, uh, sitting at 1,247,700. And then comes along John McCurdy. John McCurdy scores 1,249,500, entering the Donkey Kong Champions list and taking it from Robbie Lakeman and improving upon his own score a couple months later. But then Robbie comes back. In 2020, he scores 1,260,700. Robbie improves upon it. 1,271,100. And then in 2021, John McCarty strikes back and scores a legendary 1,272,700. And that's where people think it's going to sit for a minute. But then Robbie comes back again. And in June 8th, 2021, Robbie scores 100 points more. Just 100 points. 1,272,800. Now, the minimum increment for points, as I understand it, is 100. That means Robbie got exactly one increment of score, basically one point, one, one little score point higher than John did. Well, as it turns out, it would not be so simple. Robbie posts his score to Donkey Kong Forum, DKF, as well as Twin Galaxies. Twin Galaxies accepts the score and congratulates Robbie Lakeman. And to this day, on Twin Galaxies... Robbie Lakeman is listed as number one, the kingest of Kongs, still to this day. 
However, on Donkey Kong forums, on DKF, the post has a little bit of a different reaction. You don't really see that much congratulations. In fact, you see people questioning the legitimacy of it. And apparently this had something to do with the uh, voltage on the board being modified within specifications for the rules, apparently, as I understand it, but uh, allegedly had been modified. And allegedly, Robbie uh, knew about this and was um, actually quite proud of it, saying that, uh, and again, all allegedly, that he thought uh, some of the high scores were made that way by messing with the voltage on the board just a little bit within the, you know, acceptability uh, range and that would make the barrels RNG a little bit easier to deal with and you could score better and that was his idea now a lot of people don't agree with this in fact a lot of people say it's completely bogus uh, <laughs> pretty much everybody uh, but there are some people who do think this works and um, I'm not gonna say one way or the other I don't really know but the point is is that most people don't believe that this actually works and therefore when he submitted his score doing that uh, the video seemed legitimate uh, but the person who was moderating for DKF said that uh, they would not be accepting the score uh, specifically because Robbie while he may not have actually cheated thought he was cheating that this was unsportsmanlike that this was you know against the nature of the integrity of the, f the scores you know that sort of stuff and therefore disqualified Robbie's score. And to this day, John McCurdy holds his high score on DKF at 1,272,700 as number one, and Robbie Lakeman is not at the top. Since the split between John McCurdy and Robbie Lakeman in 2021, between Twin Galaxies and DKF, there really hasn't been any high scores, one way or the other. In fact, those scores still sit at the top to this day in 2024, several years later. And while it's not uncommon for the score to sit there for several years, lately it has been switching hands at least several times a year, if not just at least the once, like in 2017 or 2018 when it only switched once. But yet we haven't seen one in several years, and why is that? I'd like to opine that it's uh, because of all the drama, the toxicity, that the community isn't really welcome to outsiders, and people can see this. It is a public spectacle, a public display, because Donkey Kong is a very popular game. It's very old. The The scores uh, challenge has been going on for a long time, and it's made the news plenty of times. And yet, uh, the people who run it, unfortunately, uh, and the people who play in it, uh, cause a lot of drama between themselves, and people don't really want a part of that. Uh, you know, a lot of people just probably want to play a game or enjoy a game, you know, and that's sad to see. That's sad to see, and it's driving a lot of people away. So what can we do about this? Is there anything we can do about improving this Donkey Kong community, a legendary community that has kind of been led astray? And I think, yes, there's something we can do. Just go out and play Donkey Kong, you know? Set some scores. They don't have to be high scores, uh, but set some scores. You know, post them to YouTube, post them to these, you know, to Twin Galaxies, to DKF, to smaller places that might be, you know, uh, more reputable, uh, you know, in my opinion. Do do it like that and try to kind of flood the community with uh, respect and, you know, courtesy, stuff like that, uh, sportsmanship, you know, just the decent things that make high scores, speedrunning, uh, competitive gaming, all sort of you know enjoyable because a lot of people in these sort of things forget that it's it's number one is about enjoying a game that's what games are for you're supposed to enjoy yourself yes if you want to be the best I commend that you know I commend that I really do but if you're not having fun I don't see why you're doing it simple as that so that's your homework assignment if you want to take it just go play just go play a little bit just go play like a few minutes of Donkey Kong you know I'm sure you can find it you know what I'm saying on a uh, uh, emulator, wink, wink. I'll say this fast, real quick. Um, I'm not encouraging anyone to do anything outside of, you know, legal terms. I'm just saying, you know, go play a little Donkey Kong. You know, if you can find an arcade cabinet, great. <laughs> I doubt it, though. You know, find it however you do. Uh, and, you know, submit some videos to YouTube. I'd love to see them. If you played, maybe throw your score down in my comments. I'd love to hear. All scores are welcome. I'd love to hear it. You know, um, and I'll go out and play some too, and I'll post my score in the description, and we'll see what we get up to. Yeah? Bet. Cheers. Thanks for joining me on my little ramble about Donkey Kong. You know, maybe I'll make some more videos on it. I've always found this to be very interesting. Uh, each of these characters could have a, a video of their own, and I keep calling them characters. They're real human beings. Please, 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 please do not, do not go out and bother any of these people in any way. 
uh, I'm sure they get bothered enough uh, being in the public eye and uh, you know having movies, documentaries about them, uh, interviews all the time. I'm sure YouTubers are always hitting them up. Um, you know, I try to be pretty respectful about it and, you know, just sort of, you know, one little, hey, you want to talk? And if not, no biggie. But, um, you know, with these people, I would suggest please leave them alone. They're not characters. They are real people. But each one of them is interesting enough that I think they all deserve their own videos, you know, and I think they all have qualities that are redeeming and that they are really good at this game and, you know, they take it very seriously and I respect that. So, you know, I'll leave it at that. A quick little side note to add here at the very end, uh, this gameplay footage for Donkey Kong that's been in the background the whole time has been uh, me playing it for the very first time, finally got it working on uh, MAME, and I was able to enjoy Donkey Kong myself, the first time playing it after watching it for years and enjoying it, so I hope you enjoyed it in the background as well. I'm definitely no good at it, but um, like I said, let's go ahead and get some scores out there, and I had two goals when I started. One, film about 15 minutes worth of gameplay, and two, beat the uh, default high score, which I believe was like 7,600 or something like that. Yeah, 7,650, which I'm not even sure is a real score, uh, but I did it, and I'm proud of myself. So uh, it was both 15 minutes, roughly, and I got uh, 12,200. So go out, get your own score. Have fun. <laughs>